lovely children. It's time for mathematics. We are collecting data, but today we are going to collect and handle data. You remember I told you in our previous lesson that the next time we meet, we are going to handle the data that we have collected. Yes, that is what we are going to do today. Today we are going to handle our data that was collected in our previous lesson. What did we do in our previous lesson? We collected different, different kinds of data on different, different issues and instances. Data on vegetables, data on flowers, data on colors of pencils, data on different books. And what did we say is data collection? We said it is a raw fact that has been collected and it is real, you can see it. And collection is what? Different kinds of things put together as a group. Good. For you to understand the lesson properly, we need to go through our keywords. Our keywords for today are tally, chat, organize. Tally. What does it mean? It is the total number of items a specific instance appeared. It is the total number of times a specific instance appeared. Let's say, for example, you want to take the total number of a particular car parked at a parking space. What is going to help you do that? You are going to tally. So you are going to tally the number of cars with a particular color. Good. Our next keyword is chat. Chat. What does it mean? It is an information in a form of a table. So that means our tally is going to be put on a chart. And that chart is going to look like a table with columns. Don't worry, we'll get there. And you understand what I mean. Our final keyword is organize. Organize to arrange in an orderly manner. So our data that we've collected, we are going to arrange them in an orderly manner to enable us read meanings into them or to make it easy for us to understand the information that we have collected. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to represent this data that you have collected on a tally chart by organizing them properly. Okay, children, we have an example of a tally chart on the board. Hope you can see it. Look at it closely. How many columns does it have? Three. The columns are meant for something. The first column is meant for the data that is collected. Let's say, for example, we collected data on vegetables. So you have you are going to write at the top vegetables. The second column, which is the middle column, is for tally. So you label you label it as tally. That is the total number of times a specific data appear. And the last column is for number. The total number that is going to be written in a figure form after tallying. Good. So I have vegetables for the first column. Tally. Then the number. In our previous
previous lesson, we collected data on vegetables. Hope you can see the different kinds of vegetables in the basket. What are the vegetables that we collected? The names of the vegetables. We have onion. What again did you see? Green pepper or sweet pepper. So let's take this as a sweet pepper. What again did you see? Tomatoes. So I have one tomato here. And then the chili pepper or the hot one. Good. So these are the items that I collected my data on. I'm going to organize this data so that you would find it very easy to know the number of sweet peppers I have, the number of onions, the number of tomatoes, and the number of hot pepper. So we are going to tally. We have one green pepper here. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Then six. So we have six sweet pepper. So we are going to tally six. Watch carefully the way I'm going to tally. I'm tallying for green pepper. Tallying six green pepper or sweet pepper. I had six. One, two, three, four. The fifth one, you will cross it. Can you see it? So this is the fifth sweet pepper. Then you continue. Six. So we have a tally of six green pepper. Let's continue. We had onions. How many onions do we have in our data that is collected? One, two, three. So we have three onions. Let's tally this one too. Two, three. Do I need to cross? No, because it is not up to five. Very good. We have tomatoes. Let's count them. One, two, three. So we had three tomatoes. I hope you know what we are doing. What are we doing? We are trying to organize data on a tally chart by tallying the number of vegetables we have in our data collected so tomato two is what three one two three let's move to our hot pepper how many do we have here let's count them one they are quite a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine of them. Let's go and tell you. Remember, when you get the fifth tally, you do what? Cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. What have we done? We have tallied all our vegetables that we have collected. By so doing, we are organizing the data or we are handling the data for us to be able to identify the vegetables that were collected.
Now let's count and give the total number of the tallies of each vegetable. Onions, how many tallies did we get? Three. Three, right? Three. Sweet pepper. We had five. Class one. Six. Tomatoes. Three. Hot pepper. Nine. Are we done? We are halfway done. What do you need to do? You need to count the total number of items you have. So what is going to be the total? Three plus six will give you what? Nine. Nine plus three. Twelve. Twelve? Last nine. Don't get confused. Two digit number with a one digit number. Add nine plus two or two plus nine will give you eleven. You don't write all, you write one. Carry one. Add it to the one here. Make it two. So our total number of vegetables we had in the basket is. 21. With this, you are done with the handling of your data collected. This is an example of a collected data being handled or organized on a tally chart or a frequency table. Hope you are enjoying the lesson. Okay, my lovely children, I hope you've observed how I handled the data collected on vegetables. You could see we read the number of vegetables very easily. Okay, you remember in our previous lesson, we collected data on colors of pencils. Yes, pick your daughters. Draw the frequency table or the tally chart. Try and organize the colors of pencils that we had on the data we collected. We are going to move from there when I come another time. Until then, stay safe and practice all that we've learned. I love you. Bye-bye.